Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This film is rated PG for mild themes. Being an Australian production supported by a nice budget from Netflix, this film surprised me as to how much it faithfully adapted the true story of Jessica Watson as she sailed around the world in 210 days. So this is Kia's Reviews and this is my review of True Spirit. What happened to not talking to the media? It was a joke. That you made on national TV. He took it out of context, you know. Do you think I can't do it? I don't know. To be honest, I thought this would be something you'd fix on for a month and then you'd get over it. Roger, stop. True Spirit is one of the most uplifting, feel-good, triumphant films that I've seen in ages. Even though the ending is obvious and you know how it's going to conclude since it's based on a true story, the journey is what makes this so captivating and worth the watch, given that even though you know the ending, there's still grave stakes at hand that make the journey so much more enticing and heart-pounding. Despite how cliched it becomes at times, this Australian film is fantastic and reminds me so much of 2019's Ride Like a Girl in the best ways. As stated in the title, this movie is filled with driven spirit and teaches the typical message of fighting for your dreams, but I loved how this story captured that message in its storytelling. The cast have so much chemistry that it feels seamless, and to see Anna Paquin star in an Australian film is so nice to see because even though it feels like it works on a low budget at times, there's other times where it's noticeable where the Netflix money was used, and that's mainly the use of the soundtrack as there's some extremely popular songs that have nothing to contribute to the story, but are there just to show that Netflix added to their budget significantly. Tegan Croft is phenomenal in this movie. Every time she was on screen, I was glued to watching her performance, and after having watched Titans as it released every week, it was incredible to see how her acting as Raven was transferred into such an emotionally visceral performance with portraying the real story of Jessica Watson and her journey around the world in 210 days. There are scenes specifically towards the end where Croft cries because of pure helplessness out at sea, and the way she inflects the tone in her voice combined with the inevitable tears that follow her broken voice is absolutely heartbreaking, but also perfectly performed. She has an essence about her that makes her so engaging to watch, and I really see her being one of Hollywood's up-and-coming actresses, because she is one of the main actresses representing Australia the best at this point in time, and True Spirit is the perfect evidence as to why I believe that. She's consistently brilliant and never drops the quality of her acting at any point, and to have her be so strong alongside such a wonderful supporting cast that also delivers brilliantly makes for a wonderfully told story. The truth is that living your dream is hard. Right now, it's really hard. I've been crying for hours. I'm tired. I'm sore. I can't properly stretch my legs. <laughs> The pace of this movie is done to perfection as the runtime is only 100 minutes long and the fact that it never lets up from the beginning and is always focused on the core story at hand without straying into unnecessary side plots is wonderful because it only packs in the content that it needs to in order to honour Watson's real life story. You never feel like it drags on or is rushed as the overall experience is enticing enough that you don't feel the 100 minutes go by so quickly. It didn't need to be any longer and nothing from the final cut needed to be edited out because the editing team did a magnificent job with securing the exact amount of important scenes, while also not losing the emotional gravity of this story and not losing the audience's interest. As well as the incredibly influenced soundtrack by Netflix, the green screen in some scenes are undeniably noticeable, but really this isn't made on the biggest budget so it's understandable why some of the green screen falters and is terribly noticeable at times. However, most of the cinematography is gorgeous and provides heaps of beautiful colours in order to give a stunning look at the water in which Jessica sails across. It's crazy, everyone at uni knows who you are. Oh God, I don't know if I like that. Well then brace yourself, because that picture of you rounding the cape is in newspapers all over the world. Everyone's cheering for you. So you please start doing your hair. Oh come on, I have a fork for a brush. <laughs> <laughs> True Spirit was a completely unexpected, fun and joyful time, and while I expected that Tegan Croft would deliver a beautiful performance, I didn't expect to feel as good about this as I did. Watching this on Netflix was a great decision too, because it feels like a really well done Australian movie made for a streaming service like Netflix, not exactly warranting a theatrical release like Ride Like a Girl. The cast is spectacular, and only enhances Croft's inspiring performance, and the pacing combined with the editing is also perfectly done. It hits the right emotional notes and brings about one of the best feel-good movies that I've ever seen. It's 
It's a relaxing experience that does capture you in the best ways while defying its predictability with heart-pounding sequences in its final act that make the journey of Jessica Watson so exciting to watch on film. True Spirit was definitely a magnificent surprise, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching. Have you seen True Spirit? Let me know below. As always, be sure to have a look at my previous reviews of After Sun and The Whale. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Letterboxd and Instagram for all of my latest movie reviews. This has been Kia's Reviews, signing off for now. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.